Okay, here we are in Ali's bathroom. He's watching World Cup soccer in the background, but the problem with this shower stall is when he turns it on, the water comes out everywhere, all over the floor, and he's got to do some huge, huge cleanup. So what I've done is I've taken some, uh, some caulking, and I cleaned it first with methyl hydrate, and then I'm going over it again with lighter fluid, just so that we've got a really clean surface, and that's what we needed before we put uh, the sealant on. So we turned it on, and a lot of it stopped, but this door has a built-in rail, but the uh, rubber is dried out, and, it's, and so water is still coming from under this end of it. We're going to take one of my drip rails, and we're going to fashion it so that um, it'll sit. It's, it's much wider than this one, so we're going to put it right on top of everything. Now, you notice that it's got a frame, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out right here at this point, and we're going to cut it out right here at this point so that we can go past that right up against the box. So all I'm going to do is mark it first where we want to cut. We've got a marker. We're going to go right here and right here and then right here and right here. And this comes in. So we need to bring this, cut it in about there. And we only need, we'll cut the whole thing off about there because this is going to tilt down. Okay, so let's let's get started. First, we're going to take some scissors. This is already pre-bent. I'm going to just straighten it out a little bit and just cut this off. So we've got this side adjusted, so it'll fit right against the glass on the uh, strike side. And we curve this off so it won't interfere with the door jam. And so this will fit nice and flat and flush. Now we've just got to trim this one off, uh, trim this end off. And all we're going to do is take our scissors and cut it straight, right there. And then we're going to cut this base off. We're going to come back a little bit, just so that they don't have to make a whole lot of an adjustments, because we're going to fill the extra space with some of the caulking that we used. So, that's that. Okay, we're flush here, we're flush there. It's hitting just, just a little bit right there. So we'll take our knife and shim it down just, just a hair. Just a hair right there. Right there. So this is going to go on and it's tilting down, so when we turn that shower on and fill this, it should, uh, it should, it should drain back into the tub, or the, um, the stall there, and that's all we should have to do. So uh, we can peel this off now and put it into place. We've already cleaned the glass and dried, and we cleaned the frame as well and dried it off really well. So we just have to make sure we have a nice rake on it and nothing is uh, being interfered with. And we just press that off. It's higher on this end here. Now, that's the way it's going to sit. And we've got lots of clearance. We've got lots of clearance over here, but it's, it, it is sharp. So I'm going I'm to cut the edge, and trim that nicely, and trim that nicely right there. So there's nothing sharp on it, so nobody can ever cut themselves. Go in here. Perfect. It's a, it's a perfect fit. Absolutely perfect. Now, can't press this down too much. 